I'll be honest, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, but here in Los Angeles on Sunset Boulevard, there is a place that would challenge everything you know about breakfast and supersize it into one of the most delicious culinary creations you could ever imagine. It's what I think is one of the best breakfast spots you can find in the US. This is The Griddle. Tony, any LA local knows of the griddle. It's an institution. There are lines down the street. It's one of the most Instagram places yeah. in West Hollywood. What makes it such a hotspot? It's uh, we're an iconic location. We're on the corner of Sunset and Fairfax. It's a, right in the middle of Hollywood. You have a, probably some of the best and biggest food items in the, in, the, in town, basically. So people come here not only for the food, but also for the ambiance. You know what I mean? This place is like a machine. You open up at eight o'clock. It's a line out the door until we close at four o'clock. And people love standing in line in LA for some reason, so might as well do it while hey, it's great food. It's a food. thing to do, right? it's a thing yeah, to do. Exactly. You can get breakfast anywhere in LA, really. What makes this breakfast so unique? It has that LA twist on a down south style home cooked breakfast, basically. But again, large portions, because you're gonna get breakfast today and then for a couple days afterwards and stuff. That's the huge beauty of it, because most times you go out to eat in LA and you go home hungry, you know what I mean? Gotta love a good take Yeah, exactly, place. exactly. Love it. Yeah. Um, on the savory side of things, we have a uh, Caballero burrito, which is gigantic. It's, it says it on the menu, it's large, but it, you don't really realize how big it is until they bring it out to you. Um, another thing we have is like a, the something like a hot scram, which is kind of like a chili chilies type thing. It's served with tortilla chips. It's one of my favorite ones. But our number one egg dish is the Pochi Papa's Benedict, which is the non-traditional Benedict on potato skins instead of English muffins. I've come here though for some serious carb loading, mate. You guys are known for your pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> they are huge. You want to go with uh, carb loading, the sweeter is the better. And this is one of the sweetest and like biggest pancake we have, the golden ticket pancake. Monster. Yeah, like, it's a What do we got here? You start off, it's basically the banana nana pancake as a base, and then you added streusel, walnuts, caramel, Topped it with whipped cream and then basically the ingredients that are inside as well. Yeah. This is this is a big boy's pancake yeah. right there. There's probably a cavity in there somewhere for you, I can yeah, imagine. Yeah, two. exactly. Yeah. First off, the fact that that is piping hot. <laughs> oh, exactly. Man. I love the texture in this. You've got that beautiful pancake, and then you've got the crunchy nuts, you've got that amazing strudel all tying it in yeah. together. That is one serious pancake right there. It is. Now, everyone knows of red velvet cakes or cupcakes. You guys take it a little bit further. Yeah, we're the first one to actually make the red velvet pancakes. It's more of the reason why people stand in line for uh, this place is the red velvet pancake is very signature. It has the iconic look, you know, that spiral topping, powdered sugar, the chocolate powder on there as well. It's also a sweet one too. You want to do that carb loading, there's another good pancake to do. Okay, so it looks like a red velvet cake. Does it taste like one? Yes? Yeah, see? Yes, it does. Now you can officially have a red velvet for breakfast, just like you always wanted as a kid. It is very unusual because it feels like you're eating everything that's great about a red velvet cupcake, but you've still got that pancake texture about yeah. it. And that icing on top. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a couple of shots of that. <laughs> This one here though, it's really got my attention. It's the Black Magic Pancake. These pancakes are literally stuffed with Oreo pieces. They're heavenly pillows of puffy pancakes with bursts of chocolate inside it. It is absolutely incredible. The thing that I love about the griddle is not only is the food fantastic, but it's just a really cool laid back and warm atmosphere where food is pretty much the priority. There's no room for ego. A-listers come, celebrities come, but they're not treated any differently. They have to line up, they don't take reservations. It's all about the great quality food that's right in front of you. It's a big ask, I know, but if you've got any room at all and you love French toast, you have to give this a go. It's their famous mom's French toast, and it is French toast like you've never had before. Egg dipped, griddle cooked, absolute sweet, sweet goodness. It's gotta be one of the best French toasts I've ever had in the world. It's got that perfect balance between really nice and chewy, yet still melt in your mouth at the same time. But if you wanna go one step further, check this guy out. It's their Addicted to Noisella stuffed French toast, and it's literally got Nutella stuffed all the way, right inside. It's very difficult for me to talk because 
One, it's so freaking good. And two, my mouth's pretty much glued together with Nutella. Check out the insides of this guy. That is some serious stuffing right there. They do not skimp on the Nutella. Look, there are many places in the USA where you can get a big breakfast, but the Griddle Cafe has to be one of the most uniquely delicious and creative, down-to-earth morning feeds you'll find anywhere. And forget about loosening your belt for this one. This place is all about stretchy pants. Trust me, you'll need them.